to the Matthew Flinders Hotel here for the Footy Fanatics St Kilda night. Thank you very much. It's wonderful. You guys, are, I'm, I'm so stoked to have you all here. It's, this is great for St Kilda. Um, we've got two little champions out the back. They're just sitting right behind this banner here right now. They're ready to come out and entertain you. Are you looking forward to that? Yes! Yeah! We've got a great show lined up for you. We've got lots of prizes to give away. There's raffles to go on. There's footballs to give away. There's vouchers. There's the whole kit and caboodle. That's what we do here at That's Good for Footy. This is the only live and interactive footy panel show going around in Australia. This is where the fans meet the players and the players meet the fans. So without too much further ado, let's just get on with it, eh? All right. Our first panellist, he was born on the 24th of February in 1993. He debuted in 2012. He's played 102 games and kicked a total of 28 goals. He wears the number... 16. 16, that'd be right. Please welcome to the stage, Jack Newmes. Pull up a seat, my friend. Wonderful, welcome along mate. First time at That's Good for Footy, aren't we excited about that? I'm excited. Thanks for being, and, and you are not a fill-in mate, you are not a fill-in. You are somebody that we wanted to get on the show. It just happened that Josh Bruce, his head was in the clouds from kicking four goals one on the weekend, and we went with you. So yep. we're happy to have you here. Welcome on board. Thanks for having me, guys. Good on you, mate. You have a bloody good time tonight. Settle yourself in like an old man into a warm bath. Here we go. Our second panellist, he was born on the 16th of June, 1988. He debuted in 2007. He's played 152 games and kicked a total of 90 goals. He wears the number 20 on his back. Please welcome to the stage, David Armitage. Oh, when the Saints hey, go marching in. Oh, when the hey, Saints go marching in. Settle in, mate. It'll be all right. We'll get through this. It's only an hour and a half. No, you'll bloody love this. This will be a lot of fun. Um, oh, good to have you back, mate. We uh, had you on the show last year. You can take one of those. We'll give you one at the end I of the show. Be. Just don't put any beer in it. It's only made for water. Um, <laughs> we had you on the show last year. Um, we would have had you on the show at Big Pig, Little Pig. And a lot of, I know a lot of people yeah. wanted to see you down there yeah. at that time. But guess what? He's here now. So let's make the most of this. Thank Good to you. have you here, mate. Yeah, I'll go I, through a little bit of what you're going on in your life at the moment no in worries. a little bit later, but it is good to have you here now. It's good to be back. <laughs> right on. <laughs> well done. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is a segment that we like to call What About Me? Yeah, right on. Uh, what we do here, ladies and gentlemen, what about me? It's a segment that I devised because it gives us a chance to find out a little bit more about the players. And uh, as the night goes on, when you get involved, it'll give you a chance to find us to find out a little bit more about you. So what I'm going to do here, boys, I'm going to ask a series of questions, but I'm going to ask them to you first, David. Yep. And then it'll give you a little bit of time, Jack, just to prepare. So what's going to happen is I'll go through the series of questions. You'll be the first one to first cab off the rank. When you were growing up, David Armitage, who did you barrack for? Uh, Geelong, and then Brisbane started winning their premierships and jumped on board. All oh, right, okay, loyalty. I like it. Um, can you remember the emotion of being told that you're in the team for the first time? No. No. Which team? St Kilda. Oh, St Kilda. Yeah, I do actually. I yeah. do. I got. I did get quite emotional. Right. Can I you did. tell me about it? Um, like, was yeah. it a phone call? Was no, it, it was uh, Telegram. Text yeah, message? Ross Lyon. He. Um, Oh, he's not really an emotional guy, I wouldn't have thought. No. He pretty much just said, you're playing, and then walked away. That was it. <laughs> I, um, I was like, that's great. Rang mum and dad. They, uh, the club flew him down and, yeah, got to share it with him. So it was great. Fantastic. Beautiful. All right. Um, <laughs> very nice. I didn't do that. Um, so just to ask you, uh, Jack, obviously, when you were growing up, who did you barrack for? I uh, followed North Melbourne. North got, Melbourne. Got him on Friday night, so yeah, it's right. a big one. Mm, omen. Um, and can you remember the emotion of being told you were in the team for the first time? Yeah, so we had Scotty Waters as our coach and um, we were just out on the track and finished a Thursday training session and he pulled me aside and told me I was in. So uh, really excited, didn't get too emotional like Armo said, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I was pretty pumped. Cool, all right. Um, can, you remember your f <laughs> yeah? can you remember your first goal against who and where? Yep, first goal was against Essendon at Eddie Had. Um, it wasn't a drop punt. No. But it went through. Oh, okay. <laughs> 2009, right. I'm pretty sure right. it was. No, Good. eight. 2008. 2008. Yep. yep, all right. 
Jack? Uh, yeah, mine was against uh, GWS, I think, right. in my first year, about round 22. I played a fair bit of backline time, so yeah. <laughs> snuck forward and got my first goal for the year. Emotion that's associated with that? Oh, yeah, man, I got one on the board. All right. Uh, no, no, again, when Ross was coach, you couldn't show much emotion. <laughs> you drag you. Bloody Ross. All right. Um, how did you feel after your first game? What was that emotion like? Um, we got belted by Hawthorne. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In my first game, so there wasn't that much. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of joy here. No, it was all right. It was all right. Yeah. It was your first game, so you, yeah. Yeah. You look forward to it. I had about six touches, so that's going okay. well. What about you, Jack? Yeah, I got armoured, nine touches. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> and we played Gold Coast back when they were first starting, so I think we won by about 80 points, so it was an oh, easy yeah, one. Right. Okay, cool. Um, who is or was your favourite past player? Um, yeah, Michael Voss. Michael Voss? Yeah. Yeah, yeah mine would have been Brent Harvey or Wayne Carey. Yeah, cool. All right. Good names there. Um, did you have a player's poster hanging up on your wall at home growing up as a kid? Gary Ablett Sr. Mm, yep. Okay. I'd Wayne Carey. Wayne Carey. All right, sticking with the theme. Um, the duck. What's the one thing about footy that you really love? It's a tough question. <laughs> 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 nah, hanging out with your mates every week. It's great. And, yes. and being fit. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great thing, footy. And, yep. yeah, probably 42 of your mates every week, hanging yeah. out with them. Good. Yeah. Got to go along with that. Probably yeah. winning, even though since I've been at the club, we haven't won too many games. But <laughs> hopefully we're heading in the right direction. All right. Let's get something on the board this weekend. Um, what's one of the hardest things about being a footballer? And I know there's a lot of conjecture at the moment out in the marketplace about, you know, social media. So we won't go into that. But what's one of the hardest things about being a footballer from your perspective? Um, probably the sacrifice that you have to make early on. Um, it's probably a bit easier these days when I'm getting a bit older. But, yeah, certainly early days you, you come in and they try and put a... Um, an old head on young shoulders, and that's quite hard to adapt to early on. Um, so that's probably the hardest thing I've found okay. early days. Jack. Yeah, I would agree with that. And um, I guess putting in the hard work every week, and if you lose during the week, it's just um, crisis. So yep. <laughs> um, it's been pretty tough for us at times when we have a couple of losses in a row and all the boys are still working hard and yeah. we're not taking it easy or anything. So I find that pretty hard. Mm, okay. Um, if there was a story in the newspaper about you, what would the headline say? <laughs> I'd hope I was on the back page, not the front page. <laughs> okay, good start. <laughs> Jack? Um, if I was on the paper... Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Celebrating a win or something. Yeah? All right, we'll go with that. That's okay. It is a, it is a question without notice. Um, what else would you like to achieve outside of footy? Um... Hopefully get a job after footy would be nice. So if okay. there's anyone in the room that has any business cards, um, I'm probably the bear running halfway through the woods by now. So yeah. um, I'm more, yeah, I'll yeah. probably have a few years left, but yeah. hopefully uh, there's a job out there somewhere for me. All right, okay. Jack? Uh, I'd love to be set up by the time I've finished footy and, yeah, obviously you want to try and get a job and everyone at the club's doing something outside of football and mm. I've just started studying business, so okay. I'd love to tick that off. Oh, good. All right. Um, is there a routine that you stick to uh, religiously on game day? <laughs> um, I don't really have many superstitions or anything like that, but Dill Robinson does. He puts his socks on before his boots. <laughs> that, that would help. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd mention that. Nice one, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for myself, I'm pretty superstitious, so... Um, I do the same thing game day, like go out for brekkie, get in the water, wear the same jocks, um, put my boots on at the same time. Yeah. Um, I've got a masseuse that I get a rub off the same time every week, wow. uh, pre-game. I get physio at the same time every week, so I'm pretty anal about the way I go about pre-game. Jeez, that is methodical. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, wee. All right. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention the sound effects here. And I was, wee. Um, <laughs> what's the best comeback to a sledge that you've ever heard? The best comeback to a sledge that you've ever heard? Um, uh, I don't know about comeback, but I've heard a few good sledges. Yeah, give us a good sledge then. Well, Cosy said to Bob Murphy, you look like a um, half-eaten minty. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> Jack? Um, oh, there's been a couple, probably yeah. a few this year that 
probably. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can't go into that, can you? Um, <laughs> no, I don't think we can go into that. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, there's been a few good ones. I think Rui throws out a few every now and again about um, when people get into us, us about losing and stuff. He seems to bring out all his stats and what he's been able to do over the yeah, last 10 right. years. Yeah. yeah, okay. Is there someone in, uh, at the club behind the scenes who you really admire for their dedication and what they do to the club? Uh, you want to give them a shout out? Anyone that springs to mind? Um, yeah, probably guys that go unnoticed. That mm. There's one guy that hasn't even played a game yet, but I think he's going to be a very good player. He's little Nico Kearney, or Kearney, whatever he likes to be called. But, um, yeah, he's, he's very um, dedicated. He's very professional already. Mm. The other one's probably Jack Sinclair. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, he does everything right, and uh, it shows when he plays footy as well. Yep. Okay, great. Jack. What about you, Jack? Who stands uh, out for you? I like the way Daniel McKenzie goes about it. Um, at the club, he's probably one that flies under the radar a bit. Um, and another one, Bailey Rice, who we hope to see a lot of in the second half of the year. He's a really tough kind of um, small defender, uses the ball really well, so yeah. give him a bit of a shout out. Like his old man. Does anyone Could else be? think, is anyone that we've missed? I'd like to, uh, I'd like to know Wendy, your thoughts. Wendy Stapleton Wendy? and Gail, um, that probably Who's that? jump out at me. Josh Battle, yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Dating fair daughter. Who is? Joshy Battle. Is he yeah, really? That came in on the radio today. Josh Battle dating Brenna Favola's daughter. Heard it here first. There you go. <laughs> well, he's still in year 12. How so old are I they? think she's 17. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure. Wow. I'm too old for that now. <laughs> Tinder, here we go. All right. Um, what, is, what, was, what is or what was your favourite footy memory growing up? One of those things that stands out for you and just goes, yeah, man, that was it. Probably under 14 premiership. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Okay. We won that. Um, that's about it. It's yeah. about the only one I did win, so All right. cherish under that one. premiership, that'll do. And Jack, what about you? Uh, I used to love getting um, letters in the mail from like the representative sides, like the Yarra side, Northern Knights, yeah. um, and stuff like that, and yeah. Won the national championships in 18, so... They're good memories. Yeah, well exciting, done. Yeah. Okay, what's your favourite day of the week? Friday night. Mm. Okay, this Friday night or every Friday night? Especially this one. Especially this one, when we win. Okay. Oh, oh and because it's my birthday as well. Oh, that's right, <laughs> yes! Oh, Forgot about that. Stole my thunder. It's coming, we'll do something for you later. Um, um, happy birthday oh, oh, all right. Why not? Yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday <laughs> Sing your own birthday song. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, right on. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hey, that'll do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, well done, mate. Happy birthday for Friday night, and I hope you come out a real winner. Um, What's your least? Uh, what's your favourite day of the week, Jack? I was just going to go with Saturday, but it depends when we play, obviously. But yep. if we play on a Friday or a Saturday, I love yeah, okay. Saturdays. All right. What's one of the coolest things you've ever done? Um. <laughs> Be very careful. Um, it was a couple of years ago in the Queensland. I'm a massive. Queensland State of Origin fan. Yep. I remember the show was on last time I was there and I was That's sitting right. there trying to watch the telly. Yeah. So I'll Tell give you a bit more turn tonight. The off, yeah. um, but yeah, where was I going with this? Not sure. Yeah, cool as oh, sure. So, yeah, so two years ago, um, this Origin team came and trained at Seaford and oh. I got to meet all my idols. So oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, all right. Okay. I guess that's probably sparked a little bit for me, but one of the coolest things I've done when we did our training camp in uh, Colorado, we got to go and see the Denver Broncos train, saw so, um, Manning and you know Von Miller and guys like that who are huge superstars over there, got to meet them, and Fox, I think, was the coach, John Fox. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty, wow. pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, that is good. All right, uh, here we go. Who's the one person on the planet, if you had the chance to meet, you'd really like to do so? Uh, who? You. Mm, you. Can <laughs> um, meet him over there, surely. Probably Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Yeah, right. That'd be pretty okay. cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kelly Slater. Kelly Slater. Give you an answer for Eminem. Huh? Are you going to say more about Eminem? <laughs> no, no, not much. No, okay. just, no, no. just Eminem. That's yep. It. Marshall Mathers. Yep, that's good. Um, what's the worst item of clothing that you own but you just can't throw it out? Got one of those? 
Yeah, I've got a Kurt Cobain T-shirt that's from Bali, and yeah. it's got about 400 holes in it. <laughs> and I, Jesse, my girlfriend, go. keeps trying to sneak it out and put it in the bin, <laughs> but I keep getting it out. Perfect. I like it. Yeah, right. Uh, I've got some shock and Ray-Ban sunglasses that were actually my mum's when she was younger. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, I just can't seem to throw them out at the moment, so I'm hoping they'll come back into fashion. Yeah, well, you never know. That's the wow we. There you go. Um, what's your go-to karaoke song? Eagles Hotel California, and no, I'm not singing it. No, no, no we won't make you sing it. Uh, Eagles Hotel California, great track. I Chat? don't really know the words, but... No, <laughs> it doesn't matter, you're doing karaoke, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd probably go Don't Stop Believing by Journey, is it? Yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> is it? Pretty yeah, good at that yeah. one. Yeah, okay, all right. How does that go? No, we're not going to do that, remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your favourite perk outside of footy? Is it the recognition, discounts, product giveaways, endorsements or drink cards? Uh, it used to be drink cards at CQ. Yeah. yeah. What is it now? Uh, <laughs> not that, because I don't go there anymore. Yeah. Um, what is it now? No, I don't get much stuff for free anymore, really. Okay. And we'll look after you. Oh. Oh, thank you. Stubby holder for you at the end of the show. It's all right. Jack, what about you, mate? Uh, the drink cards are always good. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, not too much for myself. I'm sure Armour gets a lot more than me in that space. He's just been a bit shy. Doesn't want to spruik. Being a bit reserved, is he? Fair enough. All right, yeah. holding back. Modest. All right, let's go with this. David Armitage, the number one song on the day that you were born was this. The Flame, uh, June 88. How's that? Yeah, don't remember that one. No, no. Never heard of it. No, no it would have been a bit hard. Uh, <laughs> Jack Nunes, the number one song on the day that you were born was this. Oh, love, 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 love. That's a good one. That's better than mine. It's a finger clicking song. Um, hey, boys, that was Sonia Dada. Um, you Don't Treat Me No Good No More, February 1993. Yeah, 93. What a song. Yeah, what a song. There you go. Hey, um, at this point, we normally go to questions from the floor. Now, I, I have a lot of trouble seeing out there because the room is pretty dark, but I can gather that there's someone waving, and I pre presume that's going to be Sandy. So, um, Sandy, who have you got? I've got Jenny. She's from the cheer squad. She's got a question. Okay. Hi, Jenny. Hi. My question is to Jack. Um, I just want to clarify the pronunciation of your surname. I get really annoyed with BT. Yep. I think he says it wrong. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I wasn't certain. Everyone gets annoyed with BT. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people say Nunes or Noons and stuff like that, but it's actually Nunes. Yeah, Nunes. Nunes. Yeah, I, was, I thought it... It's yeah. not too hard, is it? No. Nuisance. Uh, no, not, <laughs> nuisance. Yeah, Nunes. Yeah, That's good. Fair. All right, Sandy, who you got now? Suzanne. Hello, Suzanne. G'day. Are we going to New Zealand next year? Do you know? Are you going to NZ next year? Are we allowed to let the genie out of the bottle? Do you mean to, what do you mean for the, to play or is in pre-season or? To play. Or for I think, I'm not sure if it's going to be next year, but it's in the pipeline that we will be going away from Wellington and going to Auckland because it's a much bigger city. So it is in the pipe, pipeline, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be next year or the year after. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Sandy? I got Wendy. Hello, the lovely Wendy. Thank oh, you for all no. your efforts, Wendy. It's all right. Trouble. It's all right, Armo. Um, it's okay. to Jack. Ah, good. Now, <laughs> on Facebook of a few, or I think it was last year, or you, you'd lost your dog. Did you ever find it? No, he went missing, so... Oh, um, no. <laughs> it's actually a pretty oh. funny story. I put him into a kennel uh, while I went away overseas in the off-season and thought that would be fine. It was a nice one in Port Melbourne, so um, a big building. No dog could ever get out, and... They rang me up the day before he was meant to be picked up and said that he'd escaped out of two doors, so... Oh, no. <laughs> Never saw him again, but... Hey, uh, move on. Oh, it's devastating. Thanks, Wendy. That's fine, yeah. for that one. Thanks, Thanks Wendy. Well, really sad up here now. <laughs> um, that's it? No more, Sam? I think that's, that's it? it? No, that's it? You can't see anybody oh, else one either? More? One more. One more? You might be going to cover it later, but... Um, um, uh, how's your recovery coming along? Yeah, um, it was a little bit of a worry there for a while. After my first surgery, um, a couple of weeks after, I tried to run and the surgery hadn't done anything, so that wasn't great. Um, and then ended up going in to get another one. Um, and it feels like this one's actually worked. Um, still a little bit of soreness in the groin, but 
Um, at least I'm able to run. I ran Monday, um, ran today, and then running again on Friday. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it's going well at the moment. So probably, hopefully, play um, twos. Oh, sorry, the VFL in about three weeks, and then uh, a couple of weeks cool. after that, the AFL, which will be nice. Yeah, so great. on track. Excellent. Yeah. All right, thank you, everyone. Uh, can you please put your hands together for David Armitage and Jack Nunes? There. Yeah. No, well done, boys. Hey, uh, it's a footy panel show. We've got lots of prizes we're going to give away, but we get a bit of the football out of the way first. We're going to talk about this. This is round 13. Let's hear, introduce it, Sam. All right, we'll make it short and sharp. It's Thursday, June 15th. We're heading over to Domain Stadium, 6.10pm tomorrow night. It's West Coast versus Geelong. Let's hear the West Coast song. That'll do. Thank you very much. Let's go straight to the Cats. We are Geelong, the greatest yeah, that'll team do there too. Um, West we Coast position ninth on the ladder, six wins, five losses, boys. Geelong position third on the ladder, eight wins and three losses. What are your thoughts about this game? Uh, look, I think it's always tough to head over West and um, against the Eagles especially. Yep. And I think especially with the comp this year, anyone can beat anyone. But mm. um, yeah, for this one, I'd probably think lean more towards West Coast myself. Okay. And Tommy Hawkins is out. Obviously got rubbed out for that jumper punch, if that's what it was. Yep. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they go about um, Danger Wood. So, yeah, if they can get that job done, then I reckon West Coast will win. But it'll be a, mm, it's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Probably West Coast, I'd say. Yeah. Home, home game. Okay, all right. Uh, Friday, June the 16th, we're going to come back to it because we want to go into it in a little bit more detail uh, because we want to discuss Armo's birthday. Saturday, June the 17th, we'll jump over to, it's at the MCG, 1.45pm. It's the Swans versus the Tigers. Let's hear the Swan song. Cheer, cheer the That'll do, the thank you. And let's go straight to the Tigers. That'll do there as well. Um, the Swans, position 14th on the ladder, four wins and seven losses. Tigers, position fourth on the ladder, seven wins, four losses. Opposite ends of the scale, those two. Um, what do you think here, boys? Tigers really need to come out and prove themselves against the Swans. What have Tigers lost? Have they lost four in a row? Did, oh, no, they won. Uh, no. No. No, no, no. They've actually been winning their last three. Right, there you go. That's how much footy I've been watching. Um, I think the Tigers will win this one. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Jack, your thoughts? Yeah, I'll differ from Armark and the Swannies will, um, will knock them over. I think the Tigers are playing reasonable, but um, when the Swans have their tail up, they're still an unbelievable side. OK, all right. MCG, though, um, on 145 on Saturday afternoon. Going to be interesting. Uh, Adelaide Oval, let's head over to Adelaide. 4.05pm um, on Saturday afternoon. It's the Lions versus Port. Let's hear the Lions song. We are the pride of Thank you very much. Thank God we've only heard that twice this year. And let's hear the Port song. We got the power to win. Thank you very much. Um, all right, the Lions positioned 18th on the ladder with two wins and nine losses. Coming up against Port, are positioned fifth on the ladder with six wins and five losses. I read that out and I go six wins and five losses and they're positioned fifth on the ladder. It's an amazing season of football, really, as we've spoken about. Any team can win on any given day. And there was a stage around about three or four weeks ago where the bottom eight actually beat the top eight. You know, so what's going on with football, I don't know, but that's why you're here, to tell us. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going <laughs> on, but it's definitely given um, teams like us, sitting at uh, 12th on the ladder, a sniff to even finish like, in a top four, four position. So yeah. um, it's very tight, and um, in this game, I'll probably... I'll, oh, yeah, the Port will, Port will get it done over there for sure. OK. Yeah, same. Port will get it done. Good on Brizzy for having that second win, but... Yeah, I think uh, Port will be way too strong. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, let's go to Metricon Stadium, 7.25 on Saturday evening. It's Kelton versus the Gold Coast. Let's hear the Kelton song. We are the Navy Blues. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to the Gold Coast song. Thank you very much, Sam. Um, Kelton, we heard their song uh, last week, which was... Uh, Miraculous, I would have thought, um, getting up over uh, GWS. They're positioned 16th on the ladder with four wins and seven losses. Coming up against Gold Coast, position 13th on the ladder with five wins and six losses. Your thoughts here, boys? Um, yeah, Carlton were very good last week. Um, yeah, this is going to be a tough one as well. Mm. Yeah, it's a hard one to pick. Um, they play very different type of Game styles. Uh, I'll say Gold Coast because it's at home. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, I think Gold Coast be too good as well. All right. Um, our second last game that we're going to discuss tonight is Sunday, June the 11th. It's the Bulldogs versus Melbourne. Let's see the Bulldogs song. Thank you very much. They're coming up against the Melbourne Demons. It's a grand old flag. It's a high five. Thank you very much. Uh, Eddie Head Stadium, 3:20 p.m. on Sunday, June the 11th. As I said, Bulldogs eighth on the ladder, um, six wins and five losses. Coming up against the D's, position six on the ladder with six wins and five losses. Your thoughts here, boys? What do you reckon? Um, Bulldogs versus Melbourne. Well, firstly, it's I think it's on June the 18th. Oh, it is too. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know why. It's, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, the 18th. Sorry yes. to correct you on that. No, that's no, all right. Um, and I think the Bulldogs will win. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the Bulldogs will win in a, a in a close game. I think it'll be very tight, but I think the Bulldogs will be just too good. They really need to come back after the, you know probably the capitulation of their loss last weekend. And although Melbourne came out and had a bloody good game, Queen's Birthday, so um, it should be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the buyers this weekend are the Crows, the Giants, Pies, Bombers, Frio, and Hawks. But we're all here to discuss one game in particular. This is Friday, June the 16th. Um, this is a game which is going to be played at Etihad at 7.50pm. It's St Kilda versus North Melbourne. Let's hear the North Melbourne song. That'll do. Uh, position 15th on the ladder, four wins and seven losses. Coming up against the Saints. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Oh, how I want to be with St Kilda. All right, there we go. It's the Saints, position 12th on the ladder with five wins and six losses. This game, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by the Big Picture people, the experts in home cinema. Uh, we're now going to get a little bit of the big picture on this game. Your thoughts on, on it, boys? Well, I don't have to go into that in great detail, do I? Because Saints are going to win. But I do want to discuss just last week, if we can just go back one week and, and discuss uh, the events of last, um, when you played against Adelaide. It, we don't, I'm not going to go into you know how and why, but I thought it was really impressive. Kobe Stevens sort of stood up and made a bit of a name for himself, um, going up against and keeping Sloan. Um, you know, didn't quite sag him out of the game, but just played a really good defensive game on him. Jack Newton's 28 disposals, my friend. Hello. Well done, mate. Um, wanted to find out from you, boys, is there any particular focus on the St Kilda style of football um, at the club at the moment? Is it that you've got to get more physical with your tackling? Is it first to the ball, more numbers around the ball? What's the focus? Uh, and, David, I'm sure, even though you're not playing, that you've probably got a bit of insight into that too. Yeah, well, last week they say if you um, keep Sloan under 17 possessions, you normally win the game. Well, that didn't happen, so that's a myth. <laughs> that's out the door. Um, but, like you said, Kobe did a terrific job. Because um, he's an absolute, you know, he's in my top couple of players, Sloan. So he's a he's a champion. Um, but yeah, we just we've gone away from how we played in the first eight rounds, really. Yep. Um, and that was probably a little bit to do with how Sydney sort of shut us down yep. and just sort of made us switch and and go sideways instead of yep. switching and going forward. Um, so we just got to get back to that, pretty much, just being able to, um, you know, run and carry, use use our flair through the middle of the ground and. And, um, and score heavily like we had been doing. So there's a little bit about that. Um, and then, like you said, a little bit of about outnumbering and, yeah. and helping the backs out. More numbers of the ball not, and yeah, so forth. That, yeah, that's pretty the, much the two things. I don't know if Jack's yeah. got anything, anything else. But Have yeah. you, Jack, what would you like to add to that? Anything in particular? No, I think Armo covered most of it. It's just our yeah. dare and the way we play with the ball. I think in the first half of the year we, we had a lot of flair and um, clean with the ball, but a bit fumbly against the top sides and... Um, we've had a pretty tough three weeks, um, like you guys know, but um, <coughs> talking to Sebi Ross, you know, it's like we've versed the grand finalists, the premiers mm. at the top of the ladder in the last three weeks, so we're not versing um, bad sides or anything, but we, we have let ourselves down, so um, we need to get back on the horse on Friday night because three, three losses in a row isn't great. Yeah, good. Good. Up, come up against the uh, the Bruce and see what you can do. Just wanted to ask you about your forward line structure. You've got Membry, McCartan, Rewalt and Bruce. Now, there's a lot of tools down there. Is that... Is it, is it the way that the, you know you want that to be structured down there to have that many tools, or you want Rewalt playing more up the ground, or what's your, what's your thoughts there? Yeah, I would have thought if one of the other boys are off, um, yeah, hit Rui would be more up the ground. Um, I'm actually wasn't in the team meeting, Jack. Can you elaborate on what's going on there? Oh well, I think yeah, Rui just kind of fixes up anywhere, so. 
Um, he's been really good for us up the ground, but then mm. if the boys aren't working too well in the forward line, um, the coaches can just throw him down there and you know what you're going to get. You know you get two or three goals out of him every yeah, time and his work rate and um, hands are always on point. So Very versatile like yeah. that. Um, a lot of comment and conjecture around town in relation to um, an on-baller, that you need somebody that's a little bit physical and hard. I presume a Dustin Martin wouldn't go astray in any discussions if that was to take place? Oh, I'd love to get him for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, no, not, don't take away from Armo's toughness, though. I'll be no, back. I'll we'll be would. back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't discard not going me anywhere. <laughs> don't throw me out. <laughs> I'm not throwing you under the bus or anything. No, I just reckon. Yeah. It'd be nice to have someone like Dusty, or um, yeah. but I don't. I don't think we'll go after him. I, yeah. My gut feel is that we'll go after someone from GWS, maybe a yeah, okay. Whitfield or a, or a Kelly. But Kelly. Yeah. There's no way he's getting nine million over nine years. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're moving into the new home down at uh, Linton Street. Jack, Jack will have to take a pay cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, moving on. Hey, very quickly, uh, injuries. Um, I just heard on the way out here tonight, Jake Carlisle's out, um, been omitted from the team. Um, and Nate Brown, how, how's he pulled up? Is that he all right? Well, it was interesting because after the game, talking to my family and friends and just some um, other supporters, they, everyone kind of thought that Brown did his hammy at one stage yeah. in the game, but... I think it was more a cramp, so he okay. was fine, and um, he's been training, so I think Good. he'll All be right. fine. Um, now, there was a question from the audience before in relation to um, you and how you're coming back with your recovery, um, but I also understand Sean Dempster's down around the club, and he's helping you with your recovery at the moment, which is Sean Dempster. Yeah. Fabulous. That's great. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's always flown under the radar, um, you know, throughout his career, and he's been a champion player, and he's an even better bloke, mm. um, but yeah, obviously... All got a little bit too much for him with yeah. the head knocks, and he's got the little girl now. Um, so yeah, he just wanted a bit of family time. But as he's got nothing to do, he um, thought he'd jump on board with my rehab, and he's training with me Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, which That's is great. which is fantastic because yeah, it can you. get pretty, uh, you know, help pretty alone out there when yeah. you're running laps by yourself. So it's mm. it's good to have um, Shinner out there with me. Good on you, mate. Well, I'll be sure the best with your recovery in that respect. Um, now, Nick back this week. Yep, 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 yep. All, yep, all systems go, good. Um, we obviously heard some comments from, you know, King of Football, Dermot Brereton, about Joey. What off a duck's back? We're not even going to touch that, are we? No. We don't need to touch no, that. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Firstly, it wasn't warranted. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have thought. You know, we won't... I don't think he's fought anyone to get a kick in, has he? No. Maybe Robbo? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> But that's, I mean, the position we want him to play is to set up our whole play. He's so, yeah. he's such a footy brain. He, yeah. He's like a coach out there. Yeah. He pretty much picks up on things before the coaching staff actually do. So he's, he's a great leader out there. And, and the way we want him to play is to have the ball in his hands and mm. to be able to use his kick and, and run and carry. Yeah. So I'm not sure where Dermy was coming from. Yeah. But I mean, all going, I mean yeah. all, everyone in the media has to have a gender and have to... After, go after someone, so that's that's all right. Well, we don't have any of them on here. Um, just in relation to uh, the circumstance with um, where Joey and Rue are, it'd be great to see them play on for 2018. Have you got any thoughts on that? Apart from saying bloody oath, we would, but yeah. no, I think they obviously still have a heap to offer. Um, mm. Rui and Joey both certainly think they can add a lot to our side, especially if we do. Um, get to the pointy end of the season mm. um, in those tight games in, in finals and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think they, it's, as long as their bodies are fine and they're happy to go on, I'd, yeah, we'd love to have them recommit. Yeah, good. And just following on uh, in relation to um, Joey, we had him on the show, obviously, when he, he came down and, and did it down at um, Big Pig, Little Pig in Moorabbin. Uh, not only is I have admired him for what he is as a footballer, uh, but off the field he's just a consummate professional and he speaks so well. Um, it was a pleasure having him on, and I got even more respect and admiration for him after having him on the show, like I've got for you two boys here tonight as well. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Thank you. But, uh, yeah, so let's wrap it up, boys. North Melbourne, uh, you're coming up against them on Friday night. It's your birthday. Um, you'll be sitting around and showing your support in some way, shape or form. Um, how are you going to win him? Yep, the, pretty much the things we mentioned before. Yep. Um, North Melbourne back line, they're pr actually quite tall. Um, and oh, I think they would even say that they're not the greatest leg speed. They've got, mm. I mean, they've got Atlee McMillan, which, and Marley Williams. They're pretty quick, but you know the the three talls aren't that quick. So they sort of, um, you know, want to play a bit of a keeper out the back. So we have to pretty much do what Richmond did and change the angles of the the football and run and carry and, and mm. sort of 
you know, hit the lead up, that kind of thing. So um, that's pretty much how we'll have to beat them, is be smart with the ball. They're coming off a bye last week. You guys come off a loss. Um, you're going to come out a lot hungrier. You'd be presuming that's going to be the case. Yeah, you'd presume so. But, um, yeah, especially for us as well, we've, we haven't won a game in about a month or a month and a bit. So um, we're very hungry for this one. And... Um, Touch on their midfield as well. They've got guys like Cunnington and Zebel yep. um, who roll through there that we're going to have to keep a tight eye on, especially um, Sean Higgins as well. Yep. He's pretty slick yeah, mover. So um, if we can take care of those blokes, yep. um, we'll be all right. Good on you, boys. Well, I wish you all the best. I hope it goes well against the Kangaroos on Friday night. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that game was brought to you by the big picture people, the experts in home cinema. Seven great locations, South Morang, Shelton, Fountain Gate, Hoppers Crossing, Knox City, Ozone, Water Gardens and the Gold Coast. Please put your hands together for David Armitage and for Jack Nunes. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Well done. All right. That's the serious side of football talk out of it. Now we're going to get up and get you guys to get involved. And uh, we're going to uh, give away some prizes and let everyone have some fun. So we're looking for two contestants, and I presume that Sandy's uh, already picked them out. Yep. Which she has. Done. I can't see her, but I can hear her. <laughs> Wonderful. Bring them on up, and let's get it introduced. This segment, ladies and gentlemen, is a segment called Knowing Me, Knowing You. <laughs> All right, wonderful. This is Joe. Hello, Joe. <laughs> All right, crowd support, I like it. And Sand? And uh, Daniel. Daniel. All right, welcome, Joe and Daniel. Um, all you two are going to be doing is nothing, really. You're just going to be standing here with one of these. You will be doing something. We haven't got you up here just to have a look at you. Um, but you will be standing here with our very elaborate scoring system and you're just going to be flipping that over each time that uh, these boys get a question right or wrong. Or when they get one wrong, you won't be flipping anything over. Um, what's going to be happening here is when I ask these boys a particular question, you guys keep score. When the question is right about Jack, then you'll be flipping it over because you're playing on Jack's behalf. And Daniel, same applies to you. Oh, now, boys, introducing this segment, this is the way that it works. It's called Knowing Me, Knowing You. I'm going to ask ten questions to you, Jack, about David, and he's going to then give those answers as being right or wrong. OK? We're clear with it? We'll see how we go. We'll play it out. Yeah. But if you don't like the answer, you don't have to. Yeah, I'm always honest. Man. All right, go hard on him, eh? All right, here we go. As I said, the segment's called Knowing Me, Knowing You. I want to know if you know David Armitage's age. No looking at him and no hints and just belt it out. 28. And on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum. No, 28 now. Yeah. 29 on Friday. Oh. All right. That one's wrong, so you don't get to flip anything over there. Here we go. Second question. What is his birth date, month and year? Some of them are easy. 88. Was it 1988? Year? Yeah. And what is it? The 16th? Of? June. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say that. Well done. Good. I like it. Do you know where he was born? And I'll take city or town. Easy one, Mackay. Yep, good. All right. Uh, do you know his middle name? <laughs> oh, he, he won't want me to tell you guys this. Nah. It's a little bit embarrassing. No. Nah. It is. Clancy. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Nice. Well, he got it right too. Mine's so, embarrassing too, so. No, no, well done. I don't know yours, do I? Yeah, that'll come up. Shh, don't give you many hints. Uh, what sort of music or genre or artist does David like? He likes a lot of music. He does our DJing in the gym, but he loves to go with a bit of rap, I would probably pick. Hence the reason Correct. Eminem. Okay. Correct. All right, good. Uh, growing up, who did David Barrick for? He barracked for two sides, <laughs> Brisbane when they were winning premierships, and before that, was it Essendon? I don't know. Oh. Geelong. Geelong. Oh, I can't give it to you. You can't have two teams. Oh, I know, well, it's first well, time it's ever happened, but he did. Anyway, um, do you know what sort of car he drives? Yeah, I do. He's got a Jeep, oh, done up Cherokee, I don't know what the... The is, the Jeep is gun up big, Cherokee? Big yep, that'll do. All right. SRT. We'll give him that. Do you know if he has a pet and if so, what is its name? Oh, he's got a, a dog and a cat. Cat dog. It's not Bessie, is it? The dog? No. Oh, I, yeah, don't know the names. No, no good. No, no didn't get that one I either. expected better of you there. Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> How many brothers or sisters does he have? 
He's got a sister. And is that it? I think I'm going to go with that too, but you, I don't think I've met your brother. I've got a brother. <laughs> I don't think I've met your brother, <laughs> so you had one. <laughs> I don't think I've one. met the brother that I think you have that I don't know whether you have or not. Yeah. Uh, no, that's wrong too. All right. How many goals has David kicked in his career to date? This is his last question and he's sitting on a score of five. How many goals has he kicked in his career to date? 152. 126. No. I like your enthusiasm, but yeah. 90. 90. Spot on. Well done, David. Uh, finished up with a total score of five. Not bad. Put your hands together for Jack. Do I have the same questions? You have the same questions, my friend, so you've got to beat a score of five. And he just said fluff. That's what he was saying, fluff. Sugar. All right. So uh, let's see how you go here, mate. Um, what is Jack's age? You're obviously scoring now, Daniel. Good 24. Up, 24? Correct. Correct. What is his birth date, month and year? Pretty sure I heard... Was it 11th? And 11 teen? Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. 11 teen? 11 teen? I don't know. No, yeah, it's 24th, 93. 24th of February, 93. It's Feb, that's mm. no can do. Do you know where he was born and I'll take city or town? Um, yeah, he's a local boy. Yeah. City or town? Oh, wherever he's from. Look. <laughs> <laughs> where was it? Q. No, no, Fairfield. Fairfield. Q, similar. Yeah. Melbourne. Would you take Melbourne? Melbourne? I, I might take City because it is a town. Oh, yeah, well, why clearly not? Melbourne. Let's go with that then. Yeah, well, All right. thank you. Do you know his middle name? Albert. No, the, she said that. Oh, I didn't say yeah. that. <laughs> I repeated that. Um, no, nah, it's Edward. Edward. Incorrect. Uh, mm. What is it? Correct. Mine's pretty embarrassing. Francis. Too. No. Oh. Starts with G. No. Oh, I know this. Gillen. Gilbert. Gilbert. My middle Gilbert. name's Gilbert. 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 Sam. Okay. Yeah, give me that, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said it. No, 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 no. We need it. No, no. Gilbert. We won't say it again. Gilbert. No, we'll no. Say All right, we'll leave it at that. No, well done, mate. Um, what sort of musical genre or artist does Jack like? Oh, Jack's turned into one of these indie blokes who likes all the sort of... Oh, I don't know, the chilled out stuff at the moment. So he's into his Falls Festival kind of music. Um, Tame Impala, all that kind of rubbish. I don't mind it either, though. Yeah, yeah I'll pay that. Yep. Okay, all right, good. Yeah. You, if you like it, you, you pay it. Um, going, uh, <laughs> growing, growing up, who did he barrack for? North Melbourne. Well done. Do you know what sort of car he drives? I'm going to take the lead here. A Volvo XC. No. XC60, Volvo. <laughs> He's checking, because if he goes, yes, he is. doesn't get it right. Yeah, He's right, correct. <laughs> oh. All right. He's on 16. No, he's not. So five and five, is that correct? Yeah. All right, here we go. Getting down to the nitty-gritty, boys. Uh, do, you, do you know if he has a pet, what is its name? He had a pet. <laughs> <laughs> See, he Wendy, always comes back to bite you. Doesn't have a pet anymore, because it's somehow... It's Miraculously walked out of two doors. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a dog. Yeah. So the answer's no? No. Yeah. He's correct then. Barkley. Well, do you, oh, do you have another pet now or are we going to go with that one? Oh, I can give, I'll, I live with Seb Ross and his girlfriend and we have a dog at the house, so no. I'm its godfather. No. So if he gets that, if you he, if he can get Seb Ross's dog, well. Marley? No. No, that's you Tim. Know it, that's though. Tim Membry's. Yeah. Um, Come on, Dave. Oh, it's that poodly looking thing. Um, <laughs> oh, what, what, oh, nah, I can picture it, but. No, nah, no good. Mm. What was it? It's Nori. No, oh, Nori, that's right. Oh, no wonder. Jeez. Max I wouldn't have got that either. Um, all right, how many brothers or sisters does he have? Does Jack have brothers or sisters? Sitting on five apiece. Well, I've met your parents. I don't know if I've met your. Brother, sister, <laughs> brother, brother, one brother, correct. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> All right, that's a win. All right, last question: How many goals has he kicked in his career to date? Uh, not many. <laughs> not going to take that. 
Lacto, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's 28. Anyway. We have a yeah, winner. You are our winner, Daniel. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, boys. That wasn't well too done, bad. That was, uh, that was not too bad. Mate, you've won uh, $20 from Big Pig, Little Big, $20 from Celebrations, $50 from Lobster Cave, $20 from your jersey. Just for standing there and flipping that. Throw that back down. Um, and show you don't go away and get it. There's a, um, a bumper sticker, a stubby holder and a key ring. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Well done, guys. All right. Well done, guys. Uh, two other contestants. Have we got them, Sand? Wonderful. Bring them straight up and let's get into it. Mark St Kilda. This is where you guys get to win prizes, get involved, have a little bit of fun, have a few laughs. Uh, we're going to introduce this segment. It's called Simply the Best. You're simply the best. Oh. All right. How are we going? Okay. Evening. So, Who have we got there, Sam? Janine and she's Collingwood. Jan oh, Janine and Mark. Mark. Say kill to Mark. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, thanks for asking, though. Um, so I've introduced a segment that's called Simply the Best. What's going to happen here, Mark, you barrack for St Kilda, obviously, um, and we love it when you come up here and you're a little bit cocky because we like to um, see whether you can... Um, well, follow through on all of that. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be reading out 10 questions uh, based around the St Kilda Football Club. And you need to um, give me those answers as quick, as quick and concise as you possibly can. And uh, we'll see how you go. Are you pretty confident that you know a bit about the St Kilda Football Club? Slightly. <laughs> Slightly, okay. A little bit more confidence I've wouldn't go astray, but let's see how we go. Here are your ten questions, my friend. Just um, come in a little bit so we can get you on camera and, uh, and that way you can see yourself. On camera. Make a fool of yourself tomorrow night. Yeah, he's just got his shit away on camera. Oh, no. Sorry. All right. Here we go. How many premierships has your team won? One. Oh, very good. Um, how many times has your team played in a losing grand final? Shh. No help, please. Seven. Seven. No, very close. Six. Mm. Bad luck. Who is your team's captain? Sharon Geary. Very good. <laughs> Who wears the number seven at your club? Luke Dunstan. Very good. Well done. How many members does your club currently have? And I'll give you closest to within a thousand. Forty. Forty thousand. Oh, it'll do, mate. Forty thousand six hundred and forty-three. When I did the check. All right, well done. Um, where did your team finish on the ladder at the end of the home and away season last year? Ninth. Well done. Correct. How many games did your team win last year at the end of the home and away season? Eleven. Twelve. Mm. So close, mate. What year did your team last win a grand final and who did they play? Sixty-six Collingwood. Well done. How many points did you win that grand final by? One. Correct. Well done. For your last question, how many points did you... Oh, I've just done that. Sorry. How many... Name three coaches over the last 20 years. Um, Watson, Blight and Lyon. That'll do, mate. Well done. You finished up with a total score of eight. Okay. You do know a little bit about your club, Mark. Congratulations. Now we're going to uh, flip it on over. You must be feeling all right up here. Quite comfortable, oh, Jenny. No. Jeannie? No. no. Yeah. No? no. You don't want to sit down over there, or yeah. no, nah. no? You'll be fine. We'll go through it and see how you go. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll be asking you the same ten questions about your club. All right. So here we go. How many premierships has your team won? Fourteen. Uh, Incorrect. Fifteen. Bad luck. Mm. How many times has your team played in a losing grand final? Too Think many. Yeah, yeah, that's not the answer I have written down, but... No, I don't uh, know. Think of the Collie Wobbles. Oh, uh, uh, Take a guess. 20. Close, 26. Mm. Who is your team's captain? Um, Pendlebury. Correct. <coughs> Who wears the number seven at your club? Is it Trelaw? It is, yeah. correct. How many members does your club currently have? Closest to winning a 1,000, I'll give you. Uh, 75,000. Oh, man, well yeah. done. 74, 6, 4, 3. Well done. Okay, where did your team finish... On the ladder at the end of the home and away season last year? Mm, uh, 15th? No, 12th. Bad luck. Mm. How many games did your team win last year at the end of the home and away season? Mm, um, 
11? No, 9. <laughs> you are in the vicinity. Okay. Um, what year did your team last win a grand final and who did they play? Uh, sorry, your answer would be? Oh. Uh, Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't remember the year. Isn't that terrible? Um, 2007? No. No. The last time you won a grand final was in 2010. Oh, and the God. second part of that question we won't finish because no. it says against who. Um, I know that one. All right, so we won't go there with that. Um, how many points did you win that grand final by? Oh, um, about 35? No, 56. I think oh. everyone's happy you're not winning. Um, I'm not, though. I think well done for getting up and having a go. Um, your last question, name three coaches over the last 20 years. Uh, three coaches. Um, ooh, um, Malthus, Malthouse. Yes. Um, Buckley. Yes. And One more. Um, um, Sure. <laughs> Yay! Thank you got you. it. What did she finish up with? Total score of four. Hey, not bad. Oh, Jenny, you got up and you had a go. You didn't win. Stubby holder, um, bumper sticker, key ring, the whole kit and caboodle. But guess what? You're our winner. Oh. Let's play it again for him, Sam. What is he? You're the best. There you go, mate. $20 big pink, big, big little big. $20 your jersey. $20 celebrations. $50 lobster cake. Well done, champ. Thank you. Thank you both for, uh, for playing along bit of fun. Thanks, guys. All right, boys, it's back to you again. I'm just going to ask you a series of questions. You can finish this uh, in a sentence or you can make it a long-winded answer, however you want to do it. I'll introduce it. It's called What Can I Say? All right, uh, boys, as I said, do whatever you want with these, but I'll rip them out and you give us a go. Um, what would you like to see, um, or would you like to see State of Origin return? I would. Yep, I actually don't remember watching it, so I would. Okay, all right. Um, an all-Australian ind Indigenous team play against the big V, South Australia, Western Australia, Tasmania, in a State of Origin type scenario. Would you like to see it? Yes, definitely. I like, I like the Vic and the All-Stars, just that, so, no. No? Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, who do I play for? <laughs> Queensland Allies, is it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. We'll play them. Yeah, okay. All right, um, playing at Adelaide Oval is? Is, sorry, repeat. Playing, playing at Adelaide Oval is, you just finished the sentence. Tough. Tough? Um... In excess song. Yeah, right. I love it. Never tear us a fart. Um, taking one. a specky is? Nothing that I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Taken one and it was a fluke. Yeah? All right. Should a nine-point goal be in home and away games? No. Nah. No. Nah. 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 Okay. You know they're, these, they're answers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Travelling into state is? Good buffet food. Mm. Love it. Love getting away with the boys and free getting away from points. Melbourne. Beautiful. Should Tasmania have a team of their own? Yes. No. <gasps> Whoa, why, Jack? I just don't think so. I reckon maybe Tassie and Northern Territory, so it's even. So two yeah. teams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. Wow. And Jack, I don't know whether you'll be coming back or not. Yeah. <laughs> Should he? It's all right, mate. I'm a Tasmanian, that's all. Should the ball be bounced or thrown up? Thrown up. Thrown up. Okay. St Kilda supporters are? Beautiful. Uh, lovely. <laughs> Beautiful and lovely. You're simply the best. <laughs> uh, well, we've done that segment. That's over. Um, your thoughts on the Twilight Grand Final are? Wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I'd go with it. Okay, all right. The rule of nominating in a ruck contest is? Ludicrous. <laughs> Ludicrous? Stupid. Yep. Stupid. I like it. Um, what is your favourite ground to play on? Eddie had in winter. Okay. <laughs> Going to test that on Friday night, unfortunately. Mm. All right. 
MCG on a, on a nice day. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Grand final would be all right. Um, here we go. Being an AFL footballer is... Privilege. Yes. Hard but good. <laughs> Hard but good. Good English. Good on you, mate. Well good done. Good England. Yeah. Uh, and AFL's co coach's job is? Very demanding. Yeah. Brutal. Brutal. All right. Your thoughts on Good Friday football? I love it. Yep. Play it. Great. St Kilda this year will finish? Six and win the flag. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll say fifth. Yeah? All right. Your thoughts on a wild card round in the finals? Uh, nah. No. Not yet. All right, good. Not yet. Jack? No. No. Your tip for a Brownlow? Hmm. Gary Ablett. Okay. Jack? Yep. Uh, Dangerfield. Okay, all right. Thursday night footy is? Mm. What is it exactly? What are they doing? <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. Once or twice a year, but not too much. Yeah, not five weeks in a row. All right. Yep. Jack? Uh, I don't know. It's good for the fans, I guess, to watch on a Thursday night on TV at home. That. Oh, cool. uh, they don't agree with you, Jack, so uh, don't like watching footy. I love watching footy. Thursday night just throws me off anyway. Um, when you see a poster or merchandise of yourself, what do you think? Sold out. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> oh, well done. That's a confident answer if you've ever heard one. Well done, brother. I'm just about... joking. Good on you, mate. Seriously, Only joking, seriously. bullshit. No, mine would be the complete opposite, shock. Shock? <laughs> okay, yeah, right. On sale. Um, what <laughs> <laughs> What's your reaction when you see a kid with, the, with your number on their back? Um, what's my reaction? Yeah. I go give him a high five. All right. Time. Yeah, well done. Yeah, I'm the same. High five. I thought you were going to say shock again. Shock. <laughs> shock. <laughs> no, good on you. Pre-season games are? No good. Yeah, pretty silly. <laughs> the deliberate rush behind rule is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a defender. Yeah, okay. Yeah, tough to read. Tough to read. Last one tomato sauce should be kept in the fridge or the cupboard. <laughs> Cupboard. Fridge. Fridge. Why, mate? I don't know. Why, mate? Why, mate? <laughs> We get a lot of serious questions on the show and we get why, mate, on tomato sauce. Uh, well done, guys. That was bloody awesome. Put your hands together for them. All right, boys, we're going to do another really quick little segment here. We need two contestants up the front. They're just two random ones. This little fella down here, I saw your hand go up. You'll be more than welcome to come up the front. What about the, uh, the young fella sitting behind you? Why not? Both of you. Come on up. Uh, we'll actually have them down there only because... Uh, I actually, yeah, come up and stand next to the boys. Why not? Come on up. What numbers you got give on there, mate? No, oh, there's a spot. None. No, there's a spot. No, he was going to give you a high five if you had his. This will give, you, this will give Mum Jack. a chance to get a camera Jack out. Jack and Max. Oh, Jack and Matt. Hello, Jack and Matt. Nice to meet you, mate. Uh, we've got Jack and Matt up here. Jack Max. and Matt, can you grab those um, little Max. paddles there? Max, just grab this, Max. Max, is it? I do apologise, Max. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Just come yeah, over just a yeah, tad a little bit more. Back, yeah. There you go. Um, we'll introduce this segment. This segment is called Playing to Win. All right, what's going to happen here, boys? The lovely Sandy's joined us on stage. Put your hands together for Sandy, everyone. <laughs> Sandy looks after everyone at the door and sells raffle tickets, but she does so much more because she does the Framing Queen as well. And, um, and what? She's a flight attendant, what? No one cares <laughs> about that. Um, but uh, welcome to the stage, Sandy. I'm going to introduce this segment as uh, called Playing to Win. Welcome to the stage, Max and Jack. Which one's Max? Which one's Jack? Max. Nice to meet you. Well done. Good. You've got a point. You've got your name right. Well done. Uh, what's going to happen here? Sandy's going to spin this wheel, boys. Yep. Whatever subject comes up on this wheel, there's going to be ten questions pertaining to that particular subject. You boys then have to answer those ten questions. These two boys, he's laughing already, um, <laughs> are then going to keep score for which ones you get right. 
All right, so let's spin it, Sand. Who wants to go first, boys? Who's going first? Jack. Jack's going first. All right, what's Jack come up with? Jack has come up with Brownlow. Yes. All right, let's see how we go here. Nice and quick. So what's going to be happening here, Max, you're going to be keeping score each time that Jack gets one right. We cool with that? Here we go. Now, you've got two options here, mate. I'm going to ask you who won the Brownlow in what year or their name. Which would you prefer? Do you want their name and you can tell me the year or I'll give you the year and you've got to tell me their name? I'd, I'd, I'd prefer a respin, to be honest. <laughs> All right, uh, give him a respin. Go on. Oh, OK. Oh, no. It's called That's Good for Footy. We don't call it That's Bad for Footy, so... What if you don't like this next one either? Keep spinning. Oh, TV shows. All right. I don't know whether that's uh, it's more of an advantage for you or not. We're going to find out, though. There's a few people in the audience who are at the last show, and they're laughing already because they know how it went. Um, the way that this one works, and thank God it was on the same page, is um, our sound guy out there, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. There you go. Um, what he's going to be doing, he's going to be playing some TV themes. Now, they may not be TV themes that you're com completely familiar with, but you've got to tell us what that TV theme is. I'll help you, Jack. Okay. Uh, and, um, and um, uh, no, we've, we've, you've been overruled. Um, Joe, go and, go and sit back down. I'll just use your camera. That's it. All right. Here we go with the first one. Are you ready, Jack? I'm ready. Let's go. Come and listen to a story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one Johnny day Cash. he was <laughs> What TV show is that? Good luck, mate. Uh, country TV show. Your time is... Burke's Backyard. <laughs> Gilligan's on. What was it? There's one thing you've got to keep doing here, and that's called having a go. All right? And that was having a go, but it was bloody wrong. It was called the Beverly Hillbillies. OK? All right. Uh, let's go with our second one. Did you see the answer? Here's the story. Of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. No. Brady Bunch. I threw the sheet down. I hope he didn't get a quick glimpse at all the answers. Uh, no, well done, mate. Uh, the Brady Bunch is correct. Here's your third one. Bewitched. Oh! Resurrected his career. All right. Bewitched is correct. Going well, he's on too. Here's your fourth one. The end of the Civil War was near when quite accidentally. Uh, Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I can tell he, he, he did get a quick glimpse at the sheet, but that wasn't Gilligan Island. Uh, that was a, a TV show called F Troop. <laughs> yeah, did he? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Let's give him his fifth one, Sam. <laughs> Friends. Yeah! All right, mate. Well done. How you going? You flipping over there, all right? Beautiful. Here's your sixth one. It's time to play the music. It's time to light the light. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know that one? I, I don't know whether I'd be asking Max or Jack. I don't know whether they're going to be able to. Uh, what do you reckon here? I wonder if there was anything in the song that gave it away. Spongebob or Gilligan? <laughs> Spongebob? Is it Gilligan's Island? Uh, it's time to play the music. It's time to light the light. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. The Muppet Show. Oh, the Muppet Show. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know that? Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You idiot. Yeah. No can do. All right. How are we going there, my friend? Three. All right. Your next one. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy, happy days. Yay. Tuesday, Friday, happy 
Yeah. Yeah. Else when we write the answer into the song. Yeah, I like that. Um, number eight. <laughs> Jeannie in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, but she's in a bottle and the show's called Jeannie. What do you reckon? Jeannie in a bottle? Yeah. She is in a bottle. It's true. Yeah, I dream of Jeannie. Well done, mate. Woo! Wow. This is entertainment. Uh, champagne comedy right here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, question number nine. Let's go. No can do? No? Love boat. Love boat. Well done. Don't worry, she has to do the same for you now and it's going to be funny because she won't know those answers. All right, number 10. Here we go. That's the, that's the Adams family. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, he finished up with a seven. Seven? Hey? Not bad. You double flipping, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. Seven? You sure? All right, let's go with seven. That's what it is. Um, Sandy, give it a spin. Let's see what Armo's got. Get flipping, Maxie. Come on, Sandy. Let's go. I've got a respin up my sleeve, too. <laughs> I've got a re-spin up my sleeve. Yes, I do. No re-spin spin up his sleeve. <laughs> Ladder winners. What's that mean? Ladder winners is basically um, what I'll be doing is, you can tell me whether you want or not, who finished top of the ladder at the end of the home and away season. I either give you the year and you give me the club or I give you the club, you give me the year. Re-spin. Re-spin. <laughs> re-spin. Hey, you boys going up here? You're not bored or anything? Okay? No, All right. no. Just checking. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ah, nah, nah. I'll, t- I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> that was um, TV's shows, for those that couldn't see. I'll probably only still get six. Sports people. This is not too bad, mate. This is probably a little bit easier than uh, any of the other ones that are on the wheel. So that's what we want to hear. What, we, what I'm going to be doing here, and everyone's going to go, oh, that's not fair. It is. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to be reading out the, f- uh, the sports people's name, and I just want you to give me their profession. Sure. Now, you've got to beat a score of seven. Yep. Okay? And I think you're already getting help there being flipped over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ladder, ladder boy. Here we ladder go, boy. my friend. Here's your first one. Your first one is Wayne Gretzky. Hockey. Ice hockey. Yeah, that's better. Ice hockey is correct. Your next one, Rory McIlroy. Golf. Correct. Ian Botham. Cricket. Correct. Martina Navratilova. Tennis. Correct. Nadia Comaneci. Pole vault. <laughs> bow, bow. Gymnastics. Oh, close. Peyton Manning. NFL. Correct. Wally Lewis. <laughs> Rugby league. All right. Eddie Charlton. Oh, it's Charlton? Snooker. Oh, yes. What's he sitting on, my friend? Eight. Seven. You're getting a bit anxious there, aren't you? Right. I, I know he's still got three questions to go and he's already on eight. <laughs> That's not bad. You're good a good boy. boy. Good boy. All right. Where's, where's St Kilda going to finish? Yeah, on the ladder. That's right. Uh, you, last two questions. LeBron James. Oh, <laughs> basketball. Yeah, and your last one, Usain Bolt. Athletics. There you go. What did you finish <laughs> up with? Nine. Total score of? Yeah, you win. You've done it. That You're a easy. champion. Well done, boys. Um, one of you gets to go home with the vouchers, but I'm pretty sure Mum's going to make you share it anyway, which is pretty cool. Um, but you've got a $20 celebrations voucher. Um, <laughs> Anyway, Mum will sort that out. Um, We have two winners. Congratulations, boys. Nice of you to come up and be part of the show. Well done, boys. Put your hands together for them, everyone. Thanks, Max. Thanks, Jack.
Um, ladies and gentlemen, we do these shows every Wednesday night. We do them for venues all across Melbourne and we love doing them. Do you love coming to them? Yeah. We hope so. Uh, next week, June the 21st, we've got Richmond's Dustin Martin and Jack Rewalt live from the Village Green Hotel, corner of Springvale Road and Fern Tree Gully Rose in Mulgrave. It's just up the road. Wow, that's a reaction. Uh, June the 28th, we've got Hawthorne's Tom Mitchell and Jaga O'Meara live from the Caulfield RSL. Actually, no, that's not from there anymore. That's now from the Burvale Hotel, all right, which is fantastic. So you only have to shoot down the road there and uh, make it easier to get over the back fence when you're pissed and get home. Um, July the 5th, we've got Essendon uh, live from the Sandown Park Hotel. We're looking at uh, Michael Hurley and uh, Orazio Fantasia um, at that show, which is at the Sandown Park Hotel, Corrigan Road and Princess Highway, Noble Park. July the 12th, we're heading down the highway. We've got the Selwood Brothers, Scott and Joel, um, on the Geelong Show, live from the South Barwon Football Club, 77 to 79 Reynolds Road um, in Belmont. And on July the 19th, we've got the Collingwood Show with Adam Trelaw and either Jeremy Howell or Scott Pendlebury. Uh, live from the Mulgrave Country Club, Wellington and Gells Road, Willis Hill. To attend any of these shows, all you've got to do, ladies and gentlemen, is go to thatsgoodforfooty.com.au forward slash tickets or kick, 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 click on the Facebook link. It's that simple. As I said, we do the shows every Wednesday night. We get some awesome talent on these shows, just like these two. All right? We've got some great shows coming up. We've had a great show tonight. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Sam uh, for audio, Sandy for being on the floor, Ben for doing all his fabulous work and introducing the show off the top. Um, if you want to like the shows, get onto the website, follow us on all the, the, the socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole kit and caboodle. Um, it's pretty simple. I would now like you to please put your hands together for David Armitage and Jack Nunes from the St Kilda Football Club. Thank you boys for appearing tonight. It's been wonderful having you both here. Go out and give kangaroos a bit of a fair sting on Friday night. You enjoy your birthday, all right? I hope you have a, a really nice, wonderful 29th birthday. 25th. Yeah, 25th. Yeah, no worries. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the That's Good For Footy panel show. My name is Damien. Thank you and good night. Cheers.